First, if you don't already have one, purchase a Files Through the Air device so that the data from the device can be viewed on the cloud. You can purchase our devices via the Files Through the Air website. Your sensor may already be displaying a reading, but it will not be configured, connected to your Wi-Fi network or transmitting to the cloud until you complete the product setup using a free software package available from the support page on our website. If you already have this software installed on your PC, you must also follow this link as you need to upgrade the software for the latest features and to set up devices on the cloud. Once this package is installed on your PC, you're ready to set up your device. Click on the Wi-Fi software icon, which is now on your desktop, and the software package will open. Accept any firewall or security warnings. Click on the sign up button. Select the account type that best suits your needs. For additional information, click the Help Me Choose link. If you want to change the currency displayed, click here. Now enter and confirm your email address. You will use this email address to sign in to your cloud account. The cloud will send an email validation message to your email address. Open this message and click on the link. Now that your email has been validated, you can enter your account details. It is important to enter the correct time zone as this will affect data readings. Agree to our terms of service and click next. If you've selected an account that requires payment, there are additional screens for you to enter your billing details. Congratulations, your cloud account is now set up so you can close this window. You now need to set up your sensor so that you can view data on the cloud. So return to the Wi-Fi software. Click sign in and enter your email and password. Once you're signed in, select on the cloud. Use the USB lead provided to connect your sensor to your PC. The micro connector is inserted into the sensor and the standard end is inserted into a standard port on your PC. The software will immediately start searching for this connection to be verified and you'll soon see the connected message. The sensor will then immediately start to scan for available Wi-Fi networks within range. This may take several seconds. Select the network you wish to use by clicking on it within the table. Most networks are secure, so you'll be asked to enter the password. This is case sensitive. You may wish to tick show characters so you can easily spot if you make a mistake and remember password if you have several sensors to set up. Then click Next. The connecting pop-up screen may take a few moments, but you'll then see the connected message. Your sensor is now communicating with the cloud. Your sensor will be set up on the cloud with the default settings displayed. In future, you can adjust these settings from the cloud. Click Next. Your sensor is now set up on the cloud. Disconnect the USB and click Finish. You can now position the sensor in the location you wish to be monitored. There is a screen on the sensor which tells you if the sensor is in range of the selected Wi-Fi network. Press the button on the sensor three times and this will take you to the signal strength screen on the LCD. If you have coverage, the Wi-Fi icon will appear in a solid state on your sensor LCD. The number on the LCD relates to the signal strength. 10 is optimum coverage, 1 is low coverage. If there is no number, just two lines, or if the Wi-Fi icon is flashing, this means there is no Wi-Fi connection and you need to move the sensor into range of your Wi-Fi router or access point. To view data on the cloud, return to the Wi-Fi software home screen. Click on View Devices and select On the Cloud. 
In future, you may wish to view data by visiting the Files Through the Air homepage and clicking on Sign In. This will take you to your individual cloud account homepage. Now that you have a cloud account, you can repeat the sensor setup process using the Wi-Fi sensor software to add additional devices. If you reach the limit of devices permitted for your cloud account, you can easily upgrade.